Hello everyone, today we are gonna have a look at the bottom navigation bar. What is the bottom navigation bar, you may ask? Well, that's the app, the bar that you see here in the bottom of your app. Well, it's currently not visible, but we are going to create that in a moment. Currently, we are looking at our demo application. It's uh, the standard one you get when you first create a Flutter application. All right, let's just jump into the coding part. We are here in our main.dart file, as you can see. Um, we are gonna remove some things. We're just gonna create a new widget. Let's remove all of this stuff here. There we go. And let's create a new stateful widget. And we're just gonna do it in here. The best practice would of course be to create a new file. But for this, I'm just gonna create, create it just in here. All right, so we are going to remove the title. We don't need that. So currently we are seeing a black screen because that's our default container that we have here. And we are gonna make a little bit of changes here. We're gonna make a scaffold. The scaffold is a very powerful widget that you have to your disposal. It basically contains all of the elements that a normal app would have. Like for instance, um, a bar at the top, which is the app bar, the content in the center, which is the body. And then we also have the bottom navigation part in the bottom there. That's what typical apps look like, right? All right, so um, let's see what we are gonna do here. Maybe a quick app bar at the top. There we go. And this is just gonna have um, just a simple title. And that's a text widget. Um, hello, bottom navigation bar, something like that that there we go so there is our app bar in the top now let's put something in our body first we need to go out of our app bar back into our scaffold there we go and for our body we are just gonna put a text there for a moment um hello world let's take that our classic right and let's make a const out of that and let's do the same here just so we don't see those messages anymore as you can see we have our hello world here and if you want to fix that up a little bit we can put a center around that um, that looks a little bit no, it doesn't really look bad, better, but hey, okay. Let's maybe style it. Um, pum, pum, pum. Let's give it a text style and just a simple color. We're not gonna put too much work in there. There we go. Because we are going to remove that in a moment anyway. So maybe add a const here so that error message is also gone. And I think it's time now for our bottom navigation bar. So as you can see here in our app, we have at the top our app bar, our body, and now we are gonna add our bottom navigation bar. So let's go here and here we see that we have the property bottom navigation bar. So that's the place where we add our bottom navigation bar widget. Um, bum, bum, bum. Navigation bar. Uh, bum, bum, bum. There we go. As you can see, it is looking for the items property. Um, and that's basically where the different icons or the different section of our navigation bar are going to be in. So um, let's put then the items in here. As you can see, it's looking for a collection. 
uh, of different items and what does it need if we hover over it here you can see that it's looking for a list of bottom navigation bar items so this means that we will need to create a bottom navigation bar item here and it's looking for an icon let's say for instance that we want to have like a person or something as our first icon there we go um i see that i get some errors here let's just ignore that for a bit um bum, 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 bum. let's um, add another bottom navigation bar i think we're gonna do three or something there we go and maybe the next one is gonna be um let's take like something like that doesn't really matter and then a settings icon maybe that's something we also have here it's looking for the const keyword again so let's add that so our warnings are also gone um pum, pum, pum. so that looks about right let's also add a label maybe um person so this label will be shown under our icon settings uh, bum, bum, bum. so let's see let's close this warning over here let's see what it says uh, items length is uh, needs to be bigger than two okay so this is the the warning that you initially get if you only have like one navigation bar icon then it will not work you need to have at least two uh, or more icons so let's refresh um, so that should be okay though let's see what still is the issue then here mm -hmm. Okay, there we go there we go right okay so after the restart our app now is working we have our icons here uh, three icons as created before and then a label underneath it as you can see though um, our bottom navigation bar is not really functioning so we need to create some logic logic here to make it work first of all let's create some variables here so we need to have a selected index that's gonna store our cur our current index that we have selected um, and then we are also going to create a function here void on item tapped and this is going to take an index and then we are going to do a set state and we are going to set the selected index to the index that is passed to this function here and to also make some change here we are going to add a static um, list of widgets because um, Actually, I want to have like different pages in our in our app and we are going to do it this way. Um, this is going to contain some containers and these containers, we are just going to give them a color. Let's give some random colors here. And there we go and we are going to give different colors obviously and then yellow all right so we have our selected index we have our list of widgets and these are going to be our pages 
we are also going to have a function here, which is going to update the selected index. So now what we want to do is we are going to um, say our current index is the selected index from before. And whenever we tap on an icon in our bottom navigation bar, we want to call that on item tapped function. Let's see what this does. Okay, so now we see that whenever we click on a new icon, it gets updated here as well. So that's looking pretty nice already. What we also want to do then is to update our body over here. So we are going to remove this. And here we are gonna take our pages. This is a collection and we are gonna put the selected index over here. So as you can see, we already have an immediate change in our app. Whenever we change these icons here, the container in the center or in our body should also change. So as you can see, whenever we click on these icons, the body also changes. So that's looking very nice. Another neat effect that this um, bottom navigation bar is, well, it actually happens if you have more than three um, bottom navigation bar icons. So if you add another one here, and I'm just gonna, let's see, I'm just gonna take something random here, like AC unit, doesn't really matter. Um, and what we also need to do then is we need to add a container, otherwise we're gonna get some issues. And let's take purple for that. So as you can see though, I need to do something with the color here because you can't really see it. So let's go to our bottom navigation bar and I'm pretty sure that we can set some color here for the selected item color. Let's take black maybe. Let's see what this does. So here we see the active icon coming up. And if we want to change these default colors here, we can obviously just go in here in our icon and update those colors as well. Nice thing that we can also do is we can update the background color of our bottom navigation bar item. And let's just put some random colors here as well, just so you see the effect. And this one as well. There's comma too much here. There we go. And um, let's take some random colors here again. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Colors dots green and orange, maybe. Okay, looks like I'm missing this here. There we go. All right, so what happens now if we click on it? You see that you have um, a nice color changing effect here in our bottom navigation bar. And as I said before, this shifting effect makes the, the other icons, it, the, the labels are removed and then the selected one, uh, the label is also shown there. All right, so that's it for the bottom navigation bar. Some interesting things that you can do with it. I hope you liked this video, if you did, Please like the video, please subscribe, leave a nice comment. Um, I would really appreciate your feedback. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.